Are you looking for the next craft beer to drink? Well, maybe Dawn Street Pale Ale from Ellison is the one for you. Welcome back everybody, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. And today we are trying Ellison Dawn Street Pale Ale. This is obviously uh, American Pale Ale, 6% ABV, not sure about the IBUs, they are not on untapped. You know what's awesome? I picked this one out because it has a purple label. I figured that's... She and sent me a picture. it's not an IPA. <clears throat> yeah, well, it's close enough. Well, it doesn't say IPA in the label like the rest of them did. Yeah, but... It's all right. It's close. It's purple. Um, this is actually the first one that we've had from Ellison. Figured it's close good. enough to Ellison that you'd like yeah. it. It does have the ABV 6.5 on the can. Um, do not see the IBUs. Like, this is what a real beer is supposed to look like, isn't it? Like... I don't... Like that's, peaky and foamy, like meringue on top. Like that's what a real beer is supposed to look like. Yeah. That's what I think. Okay. When you pour it into a glass. White head, small bubbles. Like frothy. Yeah, you've got, she's got peaks and valleys already. About a finger of head. You do a little bit, just not as much as mine. Kind of cloudy, uh, yellow color. Um, I can see some bubbles. I can see the light also. Excuse very. me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, kind of cloudy, not very. Smell? Mango. I get like a mango citrus sweetness. That's like so weird. Like all, every IPA smell smells the same. Every single one of them. Yeah, like a mango tangerine citrus smell like i'm getting sick of smelling them that's why i drink sours because i <laughs> want to smell something else you will quit buying beers like this it didn't say ipa on the label <laughs> so i was like is that how it tastes all right uh. <clears throat> i've got a lot to learn yeah. i just buy label i buy it from the label i'm i am yep. what they Pink. want they are purple it's what people want yep. when they advertise like make it so people buy it because of the label the cool label Yep. Very look good how, smell to me. Look how it's done for me with the McKellar's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, taste. Ooh. I like this. This is nice and light and citrusy. Yeah, I was going to say lots mm -hmm. of citrus. Almost a tart. Kind of going back like you get the the... Citrus, kind of sweet, mm. tart. Then it goes down. I do get a little bitterness left over. But I don't get any alcohol. Mm. I like, this is very good. It's only 6%, so I don't okay. think they could screw well, that Well, I up. don't think it tastes like <clears throat> alcohol at all. I do like this. This is good pale ale. Yeah. Nothing but a purple leaf will do for you. It's good. Yeah. I don't think I would change much out of it. I, I wish you would get a little bit of that citrus. Like, I really <laughs> get... You're the dog. <laughs> yeah. He's itching his back now behind yeah. the camera. <laughs> Legs up, throwing himself on the floor. Oh, my gosh. It's just loud. So, it's got to be loud <laughs> in the camera. Maybe it's not. And you guys are like, you're crazy. Um, I like that it's, it's like big citrus. Big. Let's see if I can get a picture of him. Oh, he's done. It's like a big... Never mind. I'm going to use your terminology that I hate. A citrus bomb. Yeah. I it like is. It, it is. I. It, but again, I wish it had just a little bit of that fruitiness, like that mango tangerine that I can smell. You don't think here. it does? No. My I th tongue tastes like it. I think that citrus, like, overpowers everything. That sweet citrus, a tiny bit of bitterness in the back... Mm. <clears throat> it's still good. Yeah, I maybe, think I would buy more of these. Maybe a little bit of uh, fruitiness now that I, I get drink a lot more. of mango. I'm getting a lot of mango. Um, now that I've drank more. Yeah. <clears throat> and maybe if it sat out for a minute. 
You might yeah. get a little bit more. Maybe it was too cold on my tongue or something. I have. They're not cold enough, or they're too cold. Um, I would. I would buy the other ones of these. I don't know where are they at. Of? They're um, East Lansing. Yeah. No joke. Yeah. For the Michigan State fans, know where Ellison is? I wouldn't know. Neither <laughs> would you. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Very good. Have your friends had it? Did you look? So are what are good? we giving it? I would give it, I would give like 4.25, 4.5. I mean, I, it's, this is, I would have another one. Yeah. I, for I sure. Would, I would go 4.25. I okay. wish there was some more fruitiness in there, but it's good. Really? Yeah. A little bit okay. more fruitiness. Well, maybe if you let it warm up for a second, it'll, I think it's a perfect balance. It just, it doesn't smell like, it, there's a hint of pine in the smell, but it doesn't taste like pine at all. Yeah. So that's it makes a winner for me. A little over two thousand ratings for an average of three point eight eight. Okay. Uh, nine of my friends have reviewed it for a three point nine two. Okay. So we looked at a little bit more than them, and that's okay. Yep. I I will um I bought this at the Drake Party Center also in Kalamazoo, and I am pretty sure that I will. There were two other ones from here, and I think I'll buy those. Yeah. What are you doing? I was just seeing if anybody... Oh. Most of them are fours, yeah. but they're going to be. Yeah, so, it's good. Yeah, good beer. So that'll wrap up this beer review. Until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Happy brewing. Thank you for watching this video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Leave me a comment down below to tell me what you thought about this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share and hit that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. You can check out these videos over here. Also, head over to 31stbrewing.com for everything beer and home brewing related.